Hello everyone, I'm Newwatch and welcome to the Town of Light. So today I'm going to be doing the episode 1. Let's see how it goes. Volterra 1942. Hmm. What's happened? What kind of place is this? Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. I might be dead. I can't get up. What's going on here? What's happening to me? There's no one here. Yet, these noises... God, my head is killing me. I can't keep my eyes open. So we're in the game. Mm. Oh, that's a playground. Nice little playground. Oh, they even have this. Right click to open, close, and use. Okay. Hello? We have a torch light. That's good. Helps a lot. Not sure what is this place supposed to be? Hopefully there's no any rotten bodies inside. Hmm. Game connection. European game games. Oh, I can't read. Booster, I think. Excellence in story and storytelling. Same one. Radio. Mm, I don't think so. I can turn it on. There's no any option. I'll leave it there. Looks like there's nothing much in here. Shower. Yep. In case you need to murder someone and bury them. I'll keep that close. So, let me try if I can open this. Oh, yeah, I can. I think this is the way because I was like facing this way and starting. The town of light. I kind of like the graphics. Hello little buddies. Access the synopsis menu. So, this is the dialogue, I think. No memories, no documents. I'm not sure what are these. Charcot. 
not sure if I pronounce it well properly. Sorry, charcot, charcot. Not sure. Map key of the ground floor. Emission waiting room, stairs, conference room, visitors' toilet, tranquil ward, observation ward, refract refectory, toilets, nurses' room, park. So the red one is where we are, the red dot. Inventory of the patient's personal effect at the moment of admission. Scissors. Telegram. Oh, I can open the window. Fuck! Okay, that was weird. Telephone. No, can't. Oh. There's no power. The master switch is near the calm woman ward. I believe this is the admission room. Admitting, readmitting a patient. clearly is Charlotte my doll I don't see any calm woman ward observation ward 8 it's on my right no no she's freezing she's alone Let's look for her. I think I need to look for her doll. This could be a cozy place. I can't sit on it. What the fuck was that? Oh wait, what's that? Ah. Nice painting. I believe I turn on the power. What? Nope, can't jump. Can't go in there. Wonder what's down there. Hmm. I should be looking for her doll. Oh, it's the same pictures. I think these are the old pictures of the place, uh, this place before. So 
So where is her doll? Nothing in here. Wait, is that a grave? Uh, no, don't think so. I came here just now. Let's search the wards on the first floor. There's a plan on the wall which shows where the various wards are located. Oops. First floor. I don't see any ward. Oh, six. I mean, I did it a ward, maybe? Six on my left. Ah, uh, it's locked. Can't go in there. Yep, the powder's on. That's good. Oh. Is this the dog? Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and I was amazed. I did not understand. At first, I was quite afraid. I feared that she wanted to hurt me. I was constantly expecting the moment when Mum would abandon her. Because I did not deserve to live. I did not deserve to be loved. Why you say that? Everyone is deserved to be loved. Uh... It's cold. It's dark. Now she's cold. She'll get ill. What? Should we can take Ill? care of her. It's not forbidden. Charlotte is a good girl. So... Okay. Should I give her medicines or something? Is this, are, they, are, are these medicines or... I'm not sure. Like her with a hammer? Ah, oh, sorry. Not hammer. Lol. Uh, what the? Why do you want to cut someone's tongue? Those lamps might make the room warmer, but Charlotte's uncomfortable. She doesn't feel well. Okay, so... Oh, I can't leave the doll over here. Charlotte is cold. Let's find her a warm place. This is the warm place, I believe, so I can't place her anywhere. Missing out something.
Oh, there's a bait. This is not a good place for Charlotte. She'll be cold here. Can I drag the bait or something? No. Uh, What do I need to do? It's warm in the sun, that's true. It'll turn cold in the evening. That's not good for Charlotte. I saw a wheelchair on the ground floor, it's a convenient place and we can get Charlotte into a warm place. Oh yeah, I saw a wheelchair. This is a comfortable place for Charlotte. But it's cold. No, no, it's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. I don't see us shivering. Uh. Wait, uh, do I need to bring her to the first floor? Does this thing work? Oh! Well, it does! Surprisingly! Floor. Does not work because the door. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh. Let's go, Charlotte. Let's get you warm. I can't turn and look behind. Wait, which way is it? I think that's the way. Ah, damn it. So bad it is. The cold goes away, you see? The light. Warmth. We can do it. The cold goes away. It's not forbidden. Now we can go to that ward where everything started. Which ward? Still locked. It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Okay, ground floor. Nope. No thanks. I'll use the stairs. Observation ward, uh, number eight. On my right.
I have a very bad feeling about this. Okay. Ah, oh, you freaking dogs. What's wrong with you? Come on. Jump or something? Oh, oh, oh! God damn it! A dog's falling down. <laughs> Here we go again. going on One day I turned off the light but it didn't go dark It was a limitless immensity a blinding, merciless light. I was 16 and I was afraid. Always afraid. A fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I could not speak. Everything terrified me. Even thinking. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away. Where I would get better. I stopped living in there. They dragged me away and tore off all of my clothes. Every last stitch. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed. For days. Alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. What? Oh my gosh, she's naked. Hello? Where am I? She was my only hope in this hell. I was falling down amongst the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. That creepy smile? It's in the evening now. Well, the story is getting a little more interesting. At starting, I was uh, I didn't know what to do. Like, I was just walking. Then we found a doll, and now it's like getting to her memories, and the story is getting interesting. Um. Well, 
I'll be continuing the next episode and I'll need to end this episode here part one so thank you guys for watching and if you like the video do click the subscribe button and like it bye